I challenged Lori to find the most amazing snakes at the Reptarium and PHB, and here's the deal. No one ever wants to clean the toilets here, but we have to clean them every day before we're open at the Reptarium. So there's five rounds, and the person that loses the most rounds is gonna have to clean the toilets at the Reptarium for the next month. You know I almost feel unfair about this because there's no way that Lori can possibly beat this animal. Of course, this is Neo, short for Neapolitan, the motley golden child pied reticulated python. I mean, look at how stunning that snake is. It's got the iridescence. It's got the black and white. It is absolutely incredible. It's got red eyes. This snake is absolutely wonderful. It's only going to get better as it gets bigger because, of course, it's a reticulated python. But this thing is 14 foot. Holy moly. But again, remember the rules, guys. Each round, I'm going to be posting this on Instagram, and you guys are going to be voting to see who wins. Maybe you like Lori better than me, and even though Neil is certainly going to be the prettier animal, maybe you want to vote for her. I don't know about it, but for me personally, there's no way that she's going to beat Neil here. I know that I don't want to be cleaning toilets. Go over to Instagram. Let me know which one you absolutely think is amazing. My pick for the coolest snake ever has to be this Taiwan beauty snake. I love beauty snakes. They're so amazing. This thing is nowhere near being done growing. It's going to get way bigger than this. They're so impressive. They're so cool. And I, you know, Brian's nuts. He says that she's mean. As you can see, she's not mean at all. Whoa! 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 Really, you just have to know how to hold them. There's no way Brian can find a snake cooler than this one. My mom trying to lose? She should have picked chicken strip. You know, whatever Brian picked. <laughs> I mean, Lori butters my bread. I gotta go with Lori on that one. I don't know what people are talking about, man. You should have gotten the cobra. That's not a real cobra. I mean, it's close enough, right? After each round, I'm gonna post both of these pictures on my Instagram story at SnakeBitesTV. You guys are gonna vote, and whoever loses the most rounds, that's right, they clean toilets. And the results are in for the first challenge, and guess what? I had Neo, you had a Taiwan Beauty. It was 80% Neo and 20% Taiwan Beauty. Who picked these matchups? You, well, you picked yours and I picked mine. No, no, no. Who picked, who goes up against who? Your first one went up against my first one. Second one went up against my second one. Whatever. I don't believe you. She lost the first round. Let's face it. What does Lori know about snakes anyways? I mean, come on. She likes to quilt and stuff like that. I'm the snake guy here, so I've got to win. And the truth is, this is a little bit hard to pick five animals that are absolutely stunners. But look at this snake right here. This is actually a crazy tangerine albino honda. Milk snake. The thing I love about this particular one is the fact that a lot of tangerines will have the same color in the triads. This one has like a yellow look to it, which I think makes it look extremely unique and extremely amazing. I mean, come on. That is one beautiful snake, guys. So Instagram, you better be voting for me because you know, Lori, she'll probably make me clean the toilets with a toothbrush. The next one that I picked is this gorgeous pied muserana rat snake. I mean, look at this animal. You've got the black and the white, and this again is not even full grown yet. She's gonna get so much bigger than this. And in a rat snake, to have these colors, this black and white, I just think it's amazing. Hi, Musarana, man, Lori is coming for freaking blood. I got something better. This is the coolest snake in this place. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Pied Musarana ain't got nothing on this crazy snake. Pied Musarana? More like no wide bull pythiana. Second round, I had the tangerine albino Honduran and you had Pied Musarana. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is close and I'm a little surprised with the results. I had 54%, you had 46%. Oh, I, I'm super not surprised because I'm seeing a trend here that I think you totally rigged this. How did I rig it? I put a poll up on Instagram and they voted. Yeah. And you I had a pied musarana rat. That is one of the most hot snakes in the world. Exactly. So how is it that that one over that? It was up to okay. them. Whatever, whatever. Brian, you're not supposed to be looking at her I list. know, but I see the list. The thing I think is really funny is number one, not bad, all pretty good, but she's supposed to do five. There's only four on the list. Can she not count? You know I'm going to show Boa some love. I mean, I definitely love the way they look. They're absolutely amazing animals. And uh, you guys always tell me I don't show them enough love. So guess what? I'm going to go ahead and say this sun globe, which is a hypo albino call boa constrictor, definitely is a beauty. I mean, come on, Laura, you can't top this. That's so good. Okay, so Laura, you can't top this. Hey, come on, Sonny. His name's Sonny, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, uh, yeah, Sonny's definitely gonna take this round, no doubt about it. I almost feel bad for Lori, you know what I mean? Cause she ain't picking as good as I'm picking. This guy here is an albino Applegate gopher. And there's no way that anyone is not gonna pick this gorgeous animal. Believe it or not, they can even have a bunch of purple instead of the white. This guy has more white. I think they're pretty both ways, but these are another impressive colubrid. And I don't care what anybody says. If you have any brain, you're gonna pick this guy. Lori you're gonna be cleaning a bunch of toilets. Well, I'm pretty sure our albinos are way better than their albinos. I mean, I mean who could be Sunrise, bro? <laughs> 
Albino? I thought you said armadillo. Get him back. Roll. Get him roll. back. Gotta get him back. <laughs> He's so big. Hey, man, 20 pounds. Buddy. Buddy. Cannonball. Third pole is in, and the sunny, the sun glow boa against your albino applegate gopher. And are you kidding me? What? Go ahead. <laughs> boa got 70%, the albino applegate gopher got 30%. Yeah. This is, okay, I'm so happy for you <laughs> and your cheating self. Because there's no way, there's no way. You can turn around and smack yourself in the face with an albino boa because there's so many everywhere. How many albino applegate gophers do you see? Hey, listen, they're hard to come by the and they're much more beautiful, but that's fine. Are you happy? He's happy, <laughs> The Yay. people have spoken, Lori, I, uh -huh. I don't control this. I don't know what people, but there's some stupid people. That's who's speaking. Well, you know, stupid people can vote too. Yeah, I guess they like you. This is the one round that I'm a little bit concerned about because I picked this snake from my heart and it is absolutely a gorgeous snake but it's one of my favorite snakes and I don't know if you guys will think it's as cool as I think it is but I think it is I mean a green snake like this of course the Boego Sienia and these guys are born with like orange bodies with green heads really big head and they go through an octogenic color change and turn all green when they get bigger this can eventually get you know four and a half five foot something like that so it's gonna get quite a bit larger than that and to me it's just one of the most stunning snakes that I own again I it's so hard to pick guys I love thousands of my snakes. I'm trying my best to pick the five that I think that you guys will vote for so I don't have to clean bathrooms. But in this case, if Lori picks a good snake, she may win this round. I don't know. But hey, listen, I don't care because I love this snake. This pick here is a no-brainer. Of course, I'm going to pick a super Lori ball python. Now, as adults, they're not quite as striking as the babies, but honestly, I still like the color variation. I'm a fan of your grays and, and light blues and blacks. Some people like color. I, I tend to go the more this coloration way. But anybody who knows anything knows this is the one to be. Wow, mom, how humble. You pick your own snake. I got a question. What does Mr. Brian know about being cool? All he does is wear reptile army shirts all day, cleans up snake poop. That's it. We gotta go with Lori on this one. Fourth pole is in, and guess what, Lori? It was actually the Sienia against the Super Lori, and the Super Lori won by 51% to 49%. So you won this one. People aren't so stupid now, are they? No, no, they still are. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I saved some heat for that last round. That's right. I don't know where I'm standing right now, but I'm telling you what, there's no way that you guys aren't going to vote for Perdita here. Of course, my girl Perdita, the absolutely beautiful cow reticulated python. We've had her now for, gosh, almost four years, and she has changed so much, but she just gets pretty and prettier. She is in shed right now, but even in shed, she is an absolutely ripping animal. Again, it's a little bit of a cheat because I did Neo the reticulated python that was black and white and now Perdita this beautiful black and white snake and that's just a contrast thing that I know that you guys are gonna absolutely love and you guys are gonna vote for so whew, I'm nervous with the results guys again at Instagram at snake bites TV help me out here or uh, help Lori out whichever one you want to win this challenge but uh, I think with Perdita this has to be a victory let's just say there's no way Brian could possibly pick something that could beat this gorgeous snake this is an albino wolf snake look at that I just said I'm not much of an albino person but how can you not love the look of this animal? And again, another cool Asian rat snake that gets a really nice big size, but look at the colors, holy crap. Last round, Brian actually had the big snake Perdita, but we got one better than that. Emma, uh, whatever snake oh, is, big. the big girl. Oh uh, yeah, top that, Brian. Who do you guys think is actually gonna win? <laughs> I vote Lori, Lori signs my check. I think I'm winning. I didn't know you were competing. Yeah, I didn't know we were gonna part of it. I think Lori as well, I think the wolf snake might take Perdita. Everybody loves Perdita. No Nobody even knows what a wolf snake is. <laughs> I am hungry. And the last one was actually Perdita, which is obviously a beautiful, beautiful snake. But I will say that the albino wolf snake is incredible. It's one of my favorite snakes that we own, to be honest with you. But the people have spoken. 68% said Perdita and 32% said albino wolf snake. Uh, we just won't talk about the people. So you, you know who you are. You should be a Okay, wait right there. <laughs> I don't give a I don't want fans. I don't need followers. And clearly these are all brides. <laughs> so you know what this means, Lori. <laughs> Number one, is this the first time in your life you've ever touched one of these? No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Just clean what the toilet. Is this, what is this for? I think it's your toothbrush. Clean the toilet. <laughs> toilet. <laughs> <laughs>
trying things but I'm cleaning the toilet. That's what I got Mike for. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. How did I lose this? <laughs>